everybody welcome back to pro tools music production course at educator.com this lesson is about editing clips in this lesson we will learn about how to edit our clips we will take a look at how to group clips mute separate heal and consolidate the clips okay first thing we're going to talk about is the edit lock we can edit lock a clip under clip menu bar in this way there is a locker icon appear on each editing that we apply and we will get a dialog box command l so basically if i choose it actually at this point i need to let's choose another one here so it would be uh, better for the example as a smaller uh, clip so if you go under the clip menu bar very first one is command L let's apply this command L and as you can see down in the bottom of the clip we have right here a little lock so what happens here if I want to move as I said we'll get this uh, dialog box and it will ask us if uh, if we want to allow this we can cancel so or we can allow basically in this way if you want to keep some of your recordings some of the clips in your session in a certain place and you don't want to move them uh, this is the best way to do that another uh, option here time lock and unlock and if we do that we get a, a dialog box too you cannot move your clips left or right once you time lock the clip so we'll always get this dialog box and you could of course allow that as well and then you can move if you wanted to apply a certain things like deleting or any kind of editing under this locking option you will get a dialog box so basically uh, this is a great way uh, in a certain session that certain clips that you're really sure that they will stay there and by mistake that you don't want to uh, apply any kind of editing such as moving around cutting pasting those kind of things and this is a great way to go up there and let's of course choose our clip and you can actually edit lock unlock or time lock command l and we get rid of it muting clips of course we have bunch of way to mute uh, in our session such as uh, muting option on the track but there is a muting option for the clips as well once you select the clip it's important that the clip is selected you can actually mute that clip if you wanted to mute that clip that's actually under edit you can go and mute the clip so it's kind of loses the color and gray out in a way there's a shortcut for that command M and you could do this in real time too even when you're like listening uh, playback of your session and if there are a couple of clips coming up that you think that like oh yes yeah, i forgot to mute those but you don't want to mute the track you can do it real time during the playback as well um, and you can just like use the command m to mute or unmute you can toggle in between so that's a useful way of uh, muting in a way let's close our clip list we talked enough about that on the last unit we're going to talk about grouping the clips we can select several clips and group them uh, if you remember we actually uh, were using grouping the tracks before if you wanted to group certain tracks which is very handy if we uh, have drums recorded and let's say this is about like 10 tracks and i wanted to apply certain editing features in pro tools for all of them uh, then i can group those tracks but you can group uh, clips as well so this is kind of a cool uh, thing let's go ahead and get the smart tool and let's get this one as well um, but before we do that actually I want to snap them together so right click we just learned that snap to previous 
and I'm going to apply the same thing here snap to preview so they're all snapped you can go and select all these by shift clicking with the grabber tool or you know another way of doing that if you have your selector it's kind of a little bit tricky to find the selector on the time on uh, on the edge because more we go there you see we always get the trimmer so in this kind of cases either like you get that spot to click but I couldn't get it for instance so the best way to do that actually just like get out of the smart mode for a second and then you can put it there as a matter of fact there is a grid that's why I'm not able to get that one this is okay um, it doesn't really work with my time thing so at this point definitely grabber works better that's another example if you have this kind of tampon app which is not too super common but let's say you're working for these kind of working with these kind of as you see right here I don't have the grid so I like Pro Tools automatically go but I select it of course you can double select that's another way to do that so let's say not smart way to select this one either grabber and the shift clip click with the grabber or if you have the if you want to do the selection with the selector you can double click and you can shift double click this one so everything selected couple ways of like selecting and once this is selected we can now group these clips we go editor clip let's let's say uh, go here it's probably under the clipping yes right here and under the clips we can actually select since it's applying on the clip it makes more sense uh, to be under the clip sometimes it's easy to forget since there's so much going on there but it's right here actually we just like grouped you can uh, ungroup or you can uh, ungroup all ungrouping is right here so there we go shift command so option command G to group option option command U to ungroup these are the shortcut the cool thing about group grouping though let's say if they were separated like this we can still group these shift click with the grabber option G so, sorry option command G and you see Pro Tools already filled this with an audio so if you have certain clips recorded in a different parts in the track in your timeline this is a cool option to use then option command U to I need to select the clip of course option command U to ungroup those options right here you have to always select your clip and go under the clip group or ungroup 